that it's part of our commitment to recognizing completed films. We also recognize or try to support filmmakers um, with early in their work, and we've worked with the Humane Society of the United States for a couple of years now. And earlier in the week, we gave a $25,000 development prize um, called the ACE Award to the Elephant in the Room, so we're proud of that. Um, which is a great title for a film, I have to say. Um, and then our first award um, is the American Film Market Award. Uh, we work with the AFM, um, which takes place concurrently with our sister festival, AFI Fest. And the idea of the AFM Award is to give a filmmaker the opportunity to go out to the American film market, which is the largest, largest market for independent film in the world, and stay at the Shutters Hotel, which is a great prize too, and get a pass to the market. And we also, um, the market sets up meetings for them and really helps them get their film out and meet with distributors. And um, this, the award this year goes to Keith Davidson for Kasim the Dream. program, good job, fabulous lineup. And the bottom line is, the lineup is only as good as the quality of work that you have presented to us. So thank you, first of all, for letting me take all the credit, or get a lot of it, <laughs> for your incredible work. The process begins, we receive about 2,000 submissions over the course of our submission review process. It's very, very long. 
sometimes painstaking, sometimes inspirational, most of the time inspirational. Um, and it's really exciting when you think about the, the various films that you pick, what will happen during this week. Um, there's a kind of family that emerges here, the different filmmakers that you bring from all over the world, the different stories that are being told, in this magical moment when we all come together, the unpredictable friendships, the unpredictable working relationships, in some cases even babies. We have our first Silver Docks baby, you know, that came from <laughs> these things. Um, so I just want to say it's really, it's, it's, really, it's, it's true indeed, I'm not trying to you know, hint at anything. But there is a closing night, closing night party tonight, so no one gets too risky. <laughs> I need to say, I just really, really want to thank the filmmakers for allowing me to work with you, to be a part of your journey. It's extraordinary meaningful to me um, and I hope that we've done your films justice here. With that said, um, I am very pleased to confer the Cinematic Vision Award. This is an award presented to a feature film that exhibits excellence and innovation in visual storytelling. The winning film goes to The Order of Myths by Margaret Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Margaret Brown did send us a response that I'm going to read. Holy crap! <laughs> I've never won anything! Thank you so much for this award. I feel honored to be recognized at this particular festival considering the political discussion going on this election year. I share this award with my entire team who worked on the Order of Myths. Thank you so much. So thanks to Margaret. Uh, our next award we inaugurate this year, um, and we're very excited to, to um, support all aspects of documentary filmmaking. So this year we are partnered with the Writers Guild of America to, an, uh, to uh, give out an award for documentary screenwriting. And um, in a moment I'll introduce our colleague from um, the Writers Guild, but I'd like to announce the nominees, and they are... Dear Zachary, A Letter to a Son About His Father by Kurt Quinn, Kurt Quinn, Kurt Kuhn, screenwriter. I'd like to thank Silver Dots for partnering with us on this award. We've been giving out a documentary screenwriting award at the Writers Guild for several years now, so we decided to expand this effort to publicize that screenwriting is part of documentary filmmaking. And just to personalize that fact, I, I asked one of our writers, Stacy Peralta, and Stacy Peralta did writing, well, he wrote and directed and produced writing Giants and Made in America. If he would give me a quote about how his process works, it's very brief, but it might hit home with some of you as to what his process is. Uh, documentary films are written four times. First time you write it is when you conceive your questions, because those questions have to lead to a narrative. You have to know that the answers of your subject are going to start piecing together the film. The second part is when you get the transcripts back from the interviews. I highlight them and I start to puzzle all the different bites together. Where there is a break and it needs to be redirected, you write the voiceover. That is the third part of the process. The fourth time you write is when you're in the edit bay and you look at the footage. You do it all over again. It is really about making your subjects voices, giving your subjects voices, and giving them narrative. And the reason I wrote that, or read that, <laughs> didn't write it, is because I wanted to explain that writing is part of the filmmaking process oftentimes, and each writer and each director, filmmaker, has their own way of telling a narrative. I'm so glad I wasn't on the jury for this award because I don't know how I could have chosen a, amongst the seven films as to the best screenwriting. Um, but I am here to announce the winner. So the winner of the 2008 Writers Guild of America Documentary Screenwriting Award is Anna Bronowski for Forbidden Lies. expecting to be here, but thank you, American Writers Guild. Um, it, it, the, the credit should really be shared with my two resilient editors. I burnt through two editors <laughs> writing this film, it was six months to make, and it was like writing a con movie, the only difference is we had real characters. So I share this award with Alison Croft and Vanessa Milton. And also, finally, a special thank you to my star, my anti-heroine, Norma Khoury, 
without whose amazing I'm very pleased to um, announce the, not announce, but introduce the Witness Award in memory of Joey R.B. Lozano, awarded to a theatrical documentary whose subject is human rights violations or social justice issues. The nominated films are The Betrayal, Nera Kuhn, Ellen Curris, director, Favasuk Paravasti, co-director. Letter to Anna, the story of journalist Politskoskavia's death, Eric Bergkraut. Pray the Devil Back to Hell, Ginny Redeker. Sea View by Nikki Go Go Gogan excuse me, and Paul Rowley. Triage, Dr. James Robinski's Humanitarian Dilemma by Patrick Reed. The Witness Award jury comprised of special guest juror Ishmael Bea, named 2007 UNICEF Advocate for Children Affected by War, Matisse Bustos-Hawks, Witness Outreach Coordinator, Chad Hunter, Witness Archive and Distribution Associate, Tamron Nelson, Witness Program Coordinator for Latin America and the Caribbean, Georgina Petkova, Witness Program Assistant, and finally, Jenny Wolfson, Witness Acting Executive Director. To present the award, please welcome Witness Board Member Julia Cohen. And um, I'm here to present the second annual Witness Award in honor of Joey R. Lozano, and this is Julia Cohen. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Witness, we're an international human rights organization that opens the eyes <coughs> of the world to human rights violations, and we hope that in doing that we empower people to tell their stories, not just as victims um, and survivors of abuse, but really turning them into powerful tools for justice and change. Our award is named for Joey Lozano, who was a former Witness uh, board member and partner, and he was also a really well-respected journalist in the Philippines where, um, where he worked. And his passion and commitment were really an inspiration to Witness and to many of uh, those who knew him. This award includes a $5,000 cash prize, and it honors the strongest feature-length film that is about a human rights or social justice issue and um, is accompanied by a distribution plan, a very strong distribution plan. We're really pleased to be here um, for the second year in a row, and again, just want to thank Sky Sydney, who really um, helped make this award possible, as well as the support from Patricia Finnerman and the entire Silver Docks uh, staff and crew, and we'd just love to give them another hand, another round of applause. <laughs> I'm not going to run through the uh, films again just because Sky listed them, but um, I'm going to turn it over to Julia who is going to announce our winner. I can't really walk, but I can talk. <laughs> um, and it's a great honor and pleasure to, to be here to present this award. Um, I've seen the film and, and love it. And uh, I guess just a little detail on, um, and this will probably give it away, but from 99 to 2003, the civil war that raged in Liberia. Um, it's quite, quite brutal and, um, and torturous for many people and in particular um, child soldiers and women. And Pray the Devil Back to Hell is the first film that details the peace process that brought an end to that conflict. And I love the fact that the women um, threaten to not have sex with their husbands <laughs> and take off their clothes, which is quite a you know, culturally inappropriate um, thing to see your mother naked and all these things. And the <laughs> tactics that they used in order to help facilitate um, really making all the negotiators get back to the table and stick to the table and, and get through this process is just incredible. And the film does a wonderful job of, of showing that and telling that story. So um, obviously, I'm very, very proud to present the um, award, the Witness Award to Pray the Devil Back to Hell um, by Ginny Richter. Um, unfortunately, Ginny couldn't be with us. It's a strange emotional medium. Uh, so whether it was African music or the, the spread of kind of uh, different kinds of styles of music or whether it was <laughs> the hidden truths between you know, like a banjo and, and kora in Central Africa, I mean, there were so many amazing themes. Um, so uh, what I want to do is kind of just say, um, you know, is there a way to do this? Can we just say the award? You can, you can do whatever you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm a DJ, so, you know, just kind of hanging. But 
Basically, <laughs> we kind of got this idea that music should be a kind of hidden connection between cultures. And um, I hope I'm not uh, putting more words in the mouths of my fellow jurors, but we kind of were sitting there at Jackie's, a great restaurant down the street, and saying, thinking how wonderful this festival was, and it pulled together a lot of hidden connections that we didn't know. So um, I guess I wanted to say the award goes to, you know, drum roll kind of thing, music. Uh, throw your heart out. Throw down your heart, sorry. It's a remix. <laughs> This is a film uh, about my brother, partly, who's a musician, so I'd like to thank our parents for making us. But mostly just thank um, the, uh, the, the African musicians who, who really threw down their hearts in a lot of ways and opened them, themselves up to us and, and uh, let us um, you know, uh, work with them and, and, and capture their music so that we could bring it to other people. Um, and uh, uh, this is just really exciting. So and being supportive, so I'm very pleased to acknowledge um, this year's Sterling Shorts Jewelry, comprised of Brian Harrington, um, who's currently with the Gucci Tribeca Documentary Fund, so giving more money and support to documentary filmmakers. Sarah Price, who's the filmmaker behind American Movie, which won the Grand Jury Prize for Best Documentary at Sundance. And A.J. Schnack, who is a filmmaker. Um, his most recent film, Kurt Cobain, about a son, was here at Silver Docks. He also inaugurated, along with Tom Powers, the Cinema, um, the Cinema Eye Awards earlier this year and is a great blogger and great supporter of documentaries. And I'm pleased to introduce Ryan Harrington to give out the award. I brought my fellow juror, the lovely Sarah Price, with me. Uh, AJ has to go back to Los Angeles. Um, and I, before we announce, um, we have three winners today. Uh, as Patricia mentioned, we looked at 33 different films, so you can imagine that it was um, quite a difficult process. Uh, but I'd like to thank the entire staff of Silver Docks for treating us so nice all week. We had such a good time. Thank you for taking care of us. Um, and especially a big thank you to Sky because she programmed a really solid, bold group of uh, short films. Okay, uh, the jury awards, um, so we had three awards in total. The jury awards an honorable mention to Marlena Schlott Rasmussen for Ground Floor Right for its remarkable images, its brevity, and its humor. of my film who um, after many 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 days of shooting together with him in his tiny flat in London finally kind of gave me his trust and um, and let me make the film about him which I'm really honored and um, I think that's it I'm really strong <laughs> to award a special jury prize for cinematic vision uh, uh, for a film whose powerful, innovative, and poetic storytelling um, just blew us away uh, and is um, just Im imagery that will stay with us for, for a long time. Uh, this award goes to Dita Harlov Johnson for one day. <laughs> She's not here, so we'll send her And finally, um, we would like to recognize a film that utilizes exquisite cinematography, finds its power in subtlety while exploring issues of global scope. The Grand Jury Award 
goes to Jan Zabil for What Would the Drop Know About That? Our second to last award um, is the Sterling U.S. Feature Award. Um, this is an incredibly um, diverse and powerful and I'm just looking at the list again and remembering my moments of seeing all these films for the first time and really um, heart-wrenching group of films and, and um, I'm very pleased to announce the nominees for the Sterling U.S. Feature Award. They are Bulletproof Salesman by Michael Tucker and Petra Epperlein. <laughs> so, um, filmmakers and artists, and they include Ramona Diaz, whose latest film, Imelda, won the Excellence in Cinematography Award at the Sundance Film Festival. Um, it's an awesome film about Imelda Marcos, of course. Um, we also have Mila Ong Twin, who is the co-founder of I Steal Film, which specializes in social activist documentary films up in Canada. He produced Up the Yangtze, which was one of the most wonderful films at Silver Docks this year. And Sandy Dubowski, who is the producer of Jihad for Love, and um, in addition to being a producer of Jihad for Love, he is um, just an incredible person, an advocate for other filmmakers, and a huge support support um, to other filmmakers as he goes on in his career. So, to present the award, I please welcome Mila Ong Twin. <laughs> and Sandy and Ramona. <laughs> Thank you uh, very much, uh, Silver Docs, for exposing all of us to the, a wide range of films in various styles. We enjoyed it, uh, every moment of it. Um, so without further ado, the, the, um, the award, we, we have two awards. One is um, a special jury prize. We had a hard time picking. So the special jury prize, uh, Sandy? Um, this film is a biting, explosive, and an exceptional record of our national tragedy, Hurricane Katrina. Kim and Scott Roberts' video of heroic rescues and gut-wrenching losses becomes a precious survivor under the deeply sensitive and assured direction of Carl Deal and Tia Lesson, who follow the couple through the flood's aftermath. The film is an indictment and a witness, an imperative to face a disaster, both natural and man-made of the times we live. We are greatly honored to give a special jury prize to Trouble the Water. started this journey about three years ago. Tia Lesson and I. Tia Lesson is my Tia Lesson is my partner and co-director and co-producer, and uh, she had to fly out this morning. But uh, on behalf of her and me and our whole crew, uh, we wanted to thank Silver Docs uh, for recognizing this film. Um, for the film's tenacity in storytelling in the face of injustice, and the filmmaker's singular vision in bringing a gripping, dramatic, and important story to the public. This film has raw emotions, visceral energy, and nail-biting twists and turns. You couldn't ask for more. It unravels a complex and layered tale of the destruction of America's largest urban farm that must not be forgotten. So the Grand Jury Prize goes to Scott ha Hamilton, <coughs> Scott Hamilton Kennedy for The Garden. Scott had to leave after the screen, but he sent a letter. Uh, hello to Silver Docs and the wonderful documentary fans in Silver Springs. Thank you very much for this wonderful award. I am so sorry that I'm not here to give each and every one of you a great big hug. Um, <clears throat> trying to decide whether I should get my glasses out or not. I think I'll go for the glasses. Um, <laughs> With a special jury prize, we, we have two awards to give, a, a special jury prize and a grand prize. Uh, with the special jury prize, we want to honor a film that we felt was emblematic of the emerging young, talented filmmakers' work that we saw in the festival as a whole. Uh, through its eloquently simple cinema verite approach, this film delivered some of the most memorable moments. A mother tearfully confessing to her seven-year-old son 
that all her hopes for the family now rest on his tiny shoulders, or the excruciating single shot of two young girls hanging on a bar for dear life and for their Olympic dreams. A special jury prize goes to Chow Gan for the Red Race. My second screen, I finished the Q&A with the translator, so I don't have translator now. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I can speak English, but I cannot ac actually think in English. <laughs> so, maybe a little confusing, I just said. Uh, uh, I remember that uh, one week ago when I was uh, at the U.S. Custom in Chicago, I need to take a transfer uh, to, to uh, Baltimore Airport. and. Uh, the custom office actually asked me, uh, are you a filmmaker? I said, yes. Where are you going? I said, Silver Dogs. So <laughs> he asked, are you making a documentary? Yes. So uh, are you, uh, is your documentary sad or happy? I said, uh, <laughs> a little bit sad. <laughs> so he, said, <laughs> he replies uh, instantly, why you filmmakers always make sad stories? <laughs> <laughs> But, but today I think it's a happy ending, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to bring the award to the uh, gymnastic children, and uh, I think they find it quite, uh, I think their heart is like, just like the crystal, and uh, I was moved again and again by them. So, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say, but thank you so much to uh, AFI and the this Poignant and inspiring film we saw. A film that profiles two human beings who dare to step outside the system to create something extraordinary and becomes a delicate, deep, and respectful exploration of life, death, friendship, and hope. <coughs> the Sterling Jury Prize goes to Jeffrey Smith for The English Surgeon. described in that way. 